So I think over the years, what I've noticed with guys who throw themselves into doing cold approaching is that they don't really consider what happens when feelings and emotions get involved. So usually the guys who uh, are jumping into this area, um, for whatever reason, they just haven't had the greatest of dating lives. They have been maybe very unsociable or they kind of feel like they've missed out on a lot of opportunities in life and they want to learn how to make sure that that doesn't happen again. And so it's safe to say that most guys, though, kind of get into it, especially to begin with, because they want to have a bit of fun. They want to be able to catch up on the experiences that they've kind of like neglected or not got to uh, experience themselves and maybe you know, the people around them, have uh, they've, uh, they've kind of gotten jealous or envious of them because other people that they've known have been more confident than them. And so they want to be able to experience the dating life that they've always wanted. But what does tend to get neglected, though, is that because they've come in potentially with this mindset or just this focus on trying a day and it's going to solve all their problems, they haven't really considered any short-term or long-term dating strategies of what happens if, again, feelings and emotions get involved. So, for example, like you could end up meeting uh, a woman that you're attracted to and you might actually end up falling for her. Or there could be the scenarios that actually, in fact, maybe this is going to be a better scenario, is that you could be putting yourself out there dating and not really looking for anything serious. But you could end up meeting women who fall absolutely head over heels for you. The attraction that's been built between you and them when you cold approach them, because it's such a ballsy thing to do and you've stood out maybe from every other guy that they've spoken to maybe you're even a breath of fresh air maybe you're you've become this guy that is actually the guy that she should be looking today and is so different from the really bad guys that maybe she's dated in the past so you're going to be this guy who's going to stand out and she doesn't want to lose you but you're not ready really for a relationship because right now you want to have a bit of fun. So, you know, when feelings and emotions, again, aren't really considered, that's where like a lot of heartbreak can come in because just there hasn't really been much that's communicated between you and her of what both of you are looking for or what you want. So it goes with the territory of cold approaching but it can still be really messy. And really what can actually help with that is just having a bit more clarity on short-term and long-term dating strategies. And at least then, you know, when you know where you stand with what you want and what you're looking for, then it really is just so much easier to communicate that to other people and then not mess them around as well. So what do I mean by like short term and long term dating strategies? Now, I've I've kind of got other videos on this as well, but just as a recap, really, or in fact, actually just maybe what's better is just to give you an example. So short term would be saying to girls that, look, you're not looking for anything serious, but you just want to have a bit of fun. And if they are OK with that, then absolutely brilliant have things happen, have that fun, date as many people as you want and obviously letting them date whoever as well. And then long term would be that you are dating someone because you want to have a relationship and hopefully maybe even further down, down the line, you want to get married and have kids. Now, where the, uh, the gray area then starts to happen when things aren't really communicated is when you've got then... Um, you come across situations where you'll end up meeting someone again who the attraction is there, but you might think that, well, actually, I don't, I really like this girl, but I I could see myself having a relationship with her. But actually, you know, the, the dating industry and the dating community tells me that I need to be single and just carry on with this and, and just stay single. And then you let her go. Now, this actually is a very common scenario that tends to happen in the dating communities around the world where they've watched some influencer or there's been some content that's been said on the Internet that suggests that you should stay single, you know, and 
and even if you meet someone who could be your most ideal perfect partner no you have to stay single you shouldn't go into a relationship now sadly i've actually known a lot of guys who have missed their opportunities with amazing women simply because of what they've been told they should do rather than them thinking for themselves and thinking like well you know what i will have a bit of fun but if i do meet someone that i really like then i want to explore it and really that is what guys should be considering like you know you've got to decide on your own what are you looking for when you are putting yourself out there to uh, to date women you know and there's nothing wrong uh in especially in my opinion to have short-term and long-term dating strategies and then alternate between the two of them nothing has to be set in stone so like having this mentality or or, or being able to say to yourself like you know what i'm gonna date i'm gonna have a bit of fun but if i meet someone that i really like i want to go and explore it and that's you know and then maybe when you you do that and then you meet people and you do find yourself with someone who you really like see what happens and if it doesn't work out say well you know what i'm going to go back out i'm going to have a bit of fun again and i'm going to meet people you know i believe that dating is a trial and error journey that we all go on and you do have to kind of date different people um to be able to know exactly what you want whether it be through core values whether it be through looks and attraction wise like physicality and whatnot then it's okay and i th- in a way it's probably good to try and spin as many plates as possible faster because at least then you're going to come to those conclusions quicker as well i just do i do think though it's just really important to emphasize that there's no right or wrong with having a dating strategy but you do have to decide though what is it that you want because otherwise you're going to get hurt and certainly the women you're dating are going to get hurt. In fact, I'll give you another example as well where, you know, a lot of frustration can certainly come in. So I was speaking to uh, a guy uh, just the other week and he was going through a dilemma where he was actually uh, dating a woman who uh, was his age. So he's about my age, uh, 37, and he's uh, he was dating a woman, uh, a woman who's just a little bit older than him but he's also got this uh thing in his mind that he wants to date someone uh younger or if he's gonna have a relationship and he wants to you know get married and have kids it has to be with someone much younger now this is an absolutely fine decision to have there is absolutely nothing wrong with that but where the messiness can come in is where then if the woman that he's dating who's his age thinks potentially he could be having a relationship with her when nothing's been communicated that he's not really looking to have a relationship with someone who's his age he only wants to do that with someone much younger there can certainly be heartbreak that will get involved if something's not very communicated much earlier in that relationship where he's saying, at least for women that he does meet, that he does date and want to sleep with who are around his age, to at least, at the very least, give them the impression, with them, it's only going to be a bit of fun. And then with women who are younger that he is attracted to, and we're talking about kind of like just in like their mid-20s, so not drastically younger, but just younger, then with them, he needs to have a different kind of relationship where, okay, there'll be still that element of having fun, but there will still also be this attitude of like, well, I want to explore this relationship with each other. I want to see where it can go, which you wouldn't have with the women that he's dating around his age. So again, just having a short-term and long-term strategy with at least knowing what you want and asking yourself those questions like, well, what am I looking for? What specifically would have me step out of the rat race if I did meet someone that I really liked? What if, though, I meet someone who doesn't necessarily fit the certain criteria that I'm looking for, but I'm attracted to them? What happens then? So what if 
you know, my friend ends up meeting someone around his age that he falls head over heels for. Does that mean then that he just shouldn't ever consider a relationship with her, even though she could be his literal perfect partner? So these are good kind of philosophical questions, I think, to be able to ask yourself because then it just starts shaping, again, what you're looking for and what to communicate to people. If you're looking then just to have a bit of fun, make that clear to someone. Don't let them think that a relationship is going to happen and, you know, and then they get really heartbroken and then they start hating men because, you know, they feel like they've been led on. If there's anything that uh, is a core value for me, it's at least trying to be as honourable as you can or having honour. You might end up breaking hearts by being very honest with people, but I do believe it's good to know where people stand and then it is entirely up to them to decide if they want to carry on or pursue that same relationship that you particularly want. So if a girl's looking for a relationship, but you're not, then say that. Don't lead her on. Don't do it just for the sake of sleeping with her. Don't take away her prerogative uh, to decide if she wants to pursue it or not. You're better to say to her, well, look, I know you want a relationship, but you have to understand, like, I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Maybe something might happen later down the line, I don't know, but right now I'm not looking for anything. If you're not okay with that, that is absolutely fine. But I really hope that we can spend more time together. And then you leave it to her. You can leave it to her to decide. And when you do that, you will have much stronger relationships, I think, with the women that you're trying to date and certainly you're going to feel a lot less lost which is a bit of a tongue twister I must admit but you're going to feel certainly a lot less lost when you're dating because you know what you're looking for and you know what's okay and what's not okay what you want what you don't want and you're communicating that to people and then you're going to have most likely even better relationships because of that better communication. So I really throw it to you. And at the end of the day, I mean, it's your your kind of decision as well, what you do when you're going out to date and cold approach and whatnot. But I do think though, it's really important to actually filter the women that you're trying to date by knowing specifically what you're looking for. If you meet women that want to have a bit of fun as well, then, and you that's something you're looking for, do it. If you're dating women or meeting women who want a relationship and that's something that you are interested in as well, then see what happens. If you're though looking for one thing and she's looking for something else, then make it clear where you both stand and give her the decision on whether to pursue or not. I'm not into this like game playing sort of thing. Um, I think it's when, you know, guys sort of lead women on. That's what tends to create this sort of like chicken egg and egg scenario of who hates who and what caused what. And, you know, and, and this is the reason why women hate men and men hate women. And, you know, and then it just sort of spirals out of control. So, I just want you, though, to be as honest as you can, not just with the women that you're dating, but also really with yourself and and sit down and decide, like, what are you looking for if you're going to date? And, you know, what sort of things specifically might be sort of like a checklist for you that will have you transition from uh, a short term dating strategy to a long term or a long term to a short term? And there's no right or wrong with it. But I just can assure you that just by at least having a bit of a game plan in what you want uh, when you're dating will just help you dramatically. And this certainly comes from 16 years experience as well. So I've worked in the industry for that long uh, behind the scenes with all of your favorite coaches that you've most likely seen on YouTube. So dating and relationship coaches of sorts. And I've worked in the self-improvement industry just as long. So even in areas outside of 
the uh, the dating industry and community. And for all of that time, I was working certainly behind the scenes with everyone, helping them on their businesses and also working with their clients as a coach and as a therapist as well. And really, it's only been in the last year that I've qualified in doing therapy, especially around anxiety and also with life coaching. So I can actually step in front of uh, the camera and out of the shadows to be able to give you guys uh, advice directly and hope that then that can also speed up the process of you getting really good results, whether you're doing that on your own or with a dating coach as well. So I'll kind of end it there, but I mean, my name has been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. Um, I really hope that you can at least just think about, you know, what specifically you're looking for and what can you be communicating to make that very clear to any women that you are dating? Because dating can be as messy or as simple and clean as it needs to be. And that really does come down to being able to communicate what you want and what you're looking for to someone. So you can then actually find someone who's on the same page as you. And particularly for guys who are looking for relationships, you will get there much, much faster than you believe. Like I've known some people to do that almost within like days if they've gone out and cold approached and just so happen they've met someone who's very like-minded to them, very much on the same wavelength for a lot of things. And they've decided, you know what, I'm going to explore this. I don't need to keep going out and stopping women on the street. Let's just see where this goes. You know, be a one girl at a time kind of guy or be a a spit as many plates as you can. Entirely up to you. But just have that clarity on it and what you're looking for. But if this video was really useful for you, please do like it. Uh, Subscribe to the channel as well. Every subscription from you guys just helps me to grow and reach even more people. And I also want the channel to be helping you guys as much as possible. So do let me know in the comments below anything that you would like advice from or anything that you need help with. I would love, genuinely love to be able to give you advice on it and speed up your cold approaching journey to actually getting results or whatever it is that you're looking for as well. So again, just before I wrap up, as my final message have a short-term and long-term strategy in mind for what you're looking for and make sure that you are appropriately communicating to the women that you're dating what you're looking for. And keep that in mind that, you know, if and what might happen if you do meet someone that you really like who was outside of your criteria, what happens then? But when feelings and emotions again get involved, you really, really do have to communicate. Otherwise, everyone, and that does mean you, is going to get heartbroken as well. So bear that in mind. And thanks again for watching my videos.